So basically, these type of photos, clips and videos have two type of audience. The one who pray for it and the other who are pray of. Hmm. I'm pretty sure you have come across these type of posters and articles saying pray for Kodagu, pray for Bihar, pray for Kerala floods, local swarm, whatsoever, unless you are living under the rock. But how many of you are aware how it happened or rather why it all happened? I'm sure most of you don't know the reasons. Now, we'll check out the case study of a beautiful place called Kodagu or Kur, which is also called as Scotland of India. But from the past few years, climate change has drastically affected this place. The site's high mountain forest ecosystem influences the Indian monsoon weather pattern. These are also included in UNESCO World Heritage Sites. But from past few years, due to human exploitation, many factors such as flora and fauna are having a huge hit. And also the local dwellers, that is the people who live here, are getting affected due to forest exploitation and climate change. But in 2018, this beautiful place was struck by natural disasters such as landslides, heavy untimely rains and floods. Kodugu being the birthplace of River Kaveri, many people in South India depend on the river, including many places of Tamil Nadu, since it is a major source of fresh water. By the end of July 2018, the rainfall was so low that the authorities were bracing for a drought and water shortage in many parts of the state, including Bengaluru, the capital city. But August changed it completely. It received so much rainfall in few days that the capital city Bengaluru receives in the whole year. Due to climate change, monsoon patterns have taken change and we are receiving heavy rainfall in short term in many parts of the country like Rajasthan, Bihar, Mumbai, etc. And this heavy rain in short term results to the flood and disaster. So now, instead of cursing darkness, let's light the candle and change the world. Let's take a small initiative for the same. So by end of this video, you will be different and making difference. Deforestation. Deforestation is one of the main reasons for the increased monsoon intensity. Europa transpiration from the green cover of the Western Ghats is responsible for around 50% of the total rainfall received by the southern and peninsular India. Deforestation in these areas has contributed to the global warming, which has caused the monsoon intensity to increase steadily since 1990s. So we require our government to make strict rules so that there is no more deforestation. Recently this year, Talakaveri, the birthplace of River Kaveri, experienced a massive landslide and deforestation was the cause for the same. Kodogu DC had taken a very good step by suspending the revenue inspector. It is alleged that for the construction of a resort in Kolikadu and Cherangala village limits, nearly 1.5 acre of land on the hill were encroached and forest destroyed by the official. Besides a large quantity of mud being excavated, resulting into cracks on the ground being developed at the spot. Following the development of cracks on the hills, villages of Kolikadu residing at the foot of the hill were living in a sense of fear. This is a voice against EIA, since this is industrialist friendly. And if this is implemented, people cannot stand up against it. The owner has to report an issue if anything found. It is like culprit reporting his own crime. Without environment clearance and reduced duration of public hearing, nature will be harmed, which cannot be reverted back. The study done by the University of Mysore potentially bears an interesting ramification on a unpleasant tourism activities at the important tourist places and its impact on the socio-economic condition. And preliminary studies showed that the total number of tourist visits in some places like Talakaveri, Rajasit and Abhi Falls have reached up to 1.2 lakh per month in Kodagu districts. So there should be a minimization of tourists so that they can be well monitorized and 80 to 90 percent of the water pollution is caused by tourists. People should not grow plants artificially in forests because when they are artificially grown it then makes trenches along the hills and during the rainy season these trenches get filled up with water and the water seeps into the hills resulting into landslides. Planting trees are never bad. I repeat planting trees are never bad if it is done in a right way. There are many programs which aims at planting a billion of trees as planting trees in certain regions. Grasslands, for instance, could result in drying up of streams and destruction of wildlife habitats. I agree measures are being taken to prevent from all this. But there is an old saying called prevention is better than cure. And there was research coming out from 2013 itself regarding landslide. Then why isn't it planned before? According to Disaster Management Plan of 2017-18 in Kodagu, no proper planning was done. And government had proposed to build a overhead bridge to overcome disaster at Bagamandla. But still, it's not completed. Also, government is extending roads which would lead to destruction of trees. 
and roads were extended in many parts of the district due to which geology was affected. So instead of extending the roads, let them repair the roads. In 1963, same type of situation had occurred in Kut, at the same place where it is affecting now. It is being said, 1963 flood were more hazardous and horrible. But at the same time, since the technology was not so developed and due to heavy rains and many other factors, there is no much information about the same. But old people who have experienced it says a lot about it. These places were recovering, but then people started making homestays, resorts and cutting down the trees. We would like to request our government and administration not to give any permit for new homestays and resorts. And even people should not sell their land to an outsider just for a short term profit. profit. You may end up losing your lifetime earnings. Even before the people of Kurg in Karnataka have recovered from three consecutive years of landslides, reports state the government of India has fast-tracked a slew of projects which should cause permanent damage to the landscape of the hill district. Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who has brought the Indian economy to a near collapse through demonetization, is pushing for a few projects, including rail link to Kurk, which could trigger a man-made disaster in South India. And we would like to say that there is no need of railway connectivity to the people of Kurk at the stake of our environment. And we strongly oppose the same. This could be beneficial only to the industrialists, but will affect the Enough with the damage done and lives lost. Let's take it as wake up call and not push nature to verge of falling apart, killing life and livelihood of our fellow human beings. We cannot blame ourselves alone for this. Even a rock will be in powders one day, so soil lose its sticky ability. Few people have good thoughts but fear to act. So now let's take your step. Be different and make a difference. This is not only the case of food but also the case of many regions of the world.